a beautiful evening here. I'm going to do an update tonight and get it ready for morning. And uh, just give you an update of my last two scans that I had. Now, this is just a little update. I've got my scans back. Um, the CAT scan, the bone scan. I actually had two CAT scans. Uh, one in September, one again a couple of weeks ago. And my bone scan. I'm going to show you a couple pictures of my old previous bone scan from seven months ago when I first found out. You're still alive, so that's good. <laughs> Yes, I'm, I'm still alive and I'm still walking. I'm still getting around. I have a few issues, but nothing serious that I can't deal with. Um, now the CAT scans, I don't understand them. They're, I don't know, you'd have to go to school for a lot of years and pretend you know what you're doing because I can't make it hide or tail them. I'll show a picture of my spine. Of the breakage, that's about the only thing I can even tell from the, from the scans. The, um, uh, I don't know what to call that. Oh, where I had my burst vertebrae. I can show the difference. Oh, well, it, I don't see a difference. So maybe you can see for the difference. It, I don't see a difference. So maybe you can see for the difference. Um, now we're playing a waiting game. He's given me till February um, to see what happens. See if my PSA will stabilize. It's still been bouncing up and down a little bit. Um, he says I only have a couple options left. He was he really wants to, to think think about uh, chemotherapy. Um, I but I. I find it odd that they haven't really telling me anything about the drugs I'm on. I've been doing a lot of looking up recently about what they're made of, what the side effects are. Um, like I say, I've learned quite a bit about Generation 1 and Generation 2, uh, the hormone therapies, the ADT. ADT. Um, the, what I'm on is the, the, one, the Generation 1 and the Generation 2 with prednisone. Um, I'm on Tamasulin still, which I'm not sure I even want to continue with. So I got a lot of decisions to make before February. Um, I don't know. I'm even don't know if I want to take any more or anything else. Um, they've never once discussed my problems, with my bones, which I find starting to find a little odd that. They've never once talked about, I have compression of the, uh, is it the L1S5, I'm not sure, the L5S1, I'm not sure where that is. I have compression of that, serious compression of that. I have the uh, a 50% height loss on my burst vertebrae, uh, the transversals, the ribs. Um, they've never ever given me anything for bone strengthener. They've never ever talked about any treatment for any of my, the fractures. Um, or, I, I still don't understand. I, I, you know, give me a, your opinion if you've watched this and what they've done for you. Is it normal that they don't do anything for any of that? Um, I just very, I, I'm a little discouraged that they don't explain everything. Like why they give you the drugs they give you. They just say here. They don't say what they do. They don't tell you why. 
Um, it's like you got to get in and out in a hurry. They only have 15 minutes and, and you got to get your injection. So we don't have time to discuss anything. Um, I'm finding that the patient is not very well informed on in what's going on. I'm a little discouraged with that and say I've been looking up the side effects, you know, of the prednisone, of the uh, the abiraterone. Um, like I say I'm having some side effects, but I see that there could be worse. So I'm actually doing quite well compared to a lot of people that are on these drugs. And uh, according to them, I'm doing well. I've only had one new lesion. Um, according to them. You look at the pictures and see what you think. Um, I don't know. I was going to say, the waiting game until February, and I'm, I have a feeling I'm going to do a lot of research. I want to know what my next steps would be or could be, whether it's going to be uh, the 233 or the 177 radium. I don't know which. Um, whether it's going to be chemotherapy or just prayer go with faith in God and let him decide what's going to happen he already knows when it's going to happen um, yeah I'll still do updates from now to now to tell you how I'm doing like right last few days has been a little painful I kind of did some work in the house and I'm paying for it right now and I think that's the irritation on my spine and causes me to have pain and a few other issues. Um, and with a bit of with incontinence a bit. Um, and it seems to be a pattern. The day that I do stuff, then two or three days after that, I pay for it. Um, but just laying around doing nothing, I think would be worse. In my own opinion. I need to get up, I need to get moving, I need to do stuff within a limit. I know I can't twist. I know I can't lift. I'm not going to be dancing. Uh, I find stairs very hard. Um, not just going up, coming down too. Uh, I try to avoid the stairs as much as possible. Um, sitting in certain chairs, so they don't have arms, so I can put my, my elbows on it to take my weight off my body. The chairs without arms I find very hard. Um, I like a hard chair, but it's funny, a hard chair with a soft pillow on it seems to work good for me. I even take my pillow in the car to sit on the, in the car. Um, and if I sit in the car too long, I find it hard. I can actually feel the lumps in my back pushing on this car seat. Um, okay, well, just a quick update today. You can say I'll put some, add some scans to this, to this video. So you can have a look. I'll, I'll mark on them old or new so they you know you know if they were six seven months ago or whether the recent ones and uh, let me know what you think have a good a good day and uh, God bless